Meanwhile, back to this fantastic women's 800 metres. Steve Ovet. As Rob said, it is a fascinating 800 metres. There's not much to choose between all these athletes, even though you've got the defending champion, Eunice Sum, going in lane five, the fastest in the world this year. She was being closed down in terms of times by about five women in this race. They're all within about a second of each other. No clear favourite as far as I'm concerned. There's the lineup. There's Eunice Sum going in lane five. But really, you could perm any three from about uh, eight of these athletes to win the medals. Here we go. Ronelle Lamo of France, the European under 23 champion. She broke her best of best. Back down to 158.86. She was second, but she came through very fast in her semi final. Again, Shalena Austin Kark, she again broke her personal best. 158.86 when she won, came through on the inside and won her semi final. European Championship bronze medal, Jona Joswick of Poland. Again, dipping under that two minutes, again a personal best, 158.35. And Eunice, so well, the defending world champion, had to qualify as one of the fastest losers to get through here. And this was her first defeat since Brussels in 2014. The big favourite really could be up against it here. She goes in five. And one of the surprises of that semi-final with a really great run, Melissa Bishop of Canada, smashing the Canadian record of Diane Cummins, which has stood since 2001 with that marvellous 157.52. In lane seven, one of the few athletes there that uh, could really cause an upset if it's fast. Mariana Asamasova of Belarus, European champion at 800 metres. And another one that I think that could be a big danger in this race. She finished very fast in that semi-final. Natalia Lupu of the Ukraine, the former indoor champion. And another real surprise. Yet again, I keep saying it, but it was true. This very young Moroccan, Rabah Arafi, the African 1500-meter champion, she won her semi-final and came through like a bullet in the last 50 meters or so. And all eyes on Eunice Sum. She must be worried, though, because this is a loaded field. Very, very strong indeed. It is the World Championship. You'd expect that. They're off. They break over the back straight after the first 120 metres or so. Eunice Sum, as she did in the semi-final, looks like she's going to push it hard right from the word go. Lamoa France is on the inside there. She's running very well indeed. She has to keep going hard, otherwise they're closer down as they come across the track. Eunice Sum, though, has gone through hard. Is she going to go all the way, or is she just going to slow it down and let them catch up? The 200 metres, 27-13, Rob. Yeah, this is quick. And I just wonder whether the defending champion's confidence was dented ever so slightly after going through as a fastest loser. She's at the front. She's trying to dominate the early stages of this race. A Rafi of Morocco way off the back. Arzam Azova is there, and Lamo. The French woman coming wide on the outside, trying to take closer order. And Sum just had a little look over her shoulder there. Steve, as they hit the belt, they're all queuing up. Well, it's OK. It's not fast. That second 200 metres slowed down a little bit. Sum was looking over her shoulder. Asama So was there. Bishop is there. Lamo of France on the outside. No one as yet has made a significant move. They're going to have to pick it up on this third 200 metres if it's going to be a fast race or it's going to be a kick over the last 20 metres. Sum is strengthening lengthening her stride and starting to pull away. Asama Soma, though, is not giving ground. Asama Soma now, as they come to 200 metres, looks like she's going to take the lead from Sum. Bishop is running well in fourth. Lamo of France is on the outside of Sum. So Asama Soma maybe has made a break. Sum is gathering herself again to come around Asama Soma. Bishop is in third on the inside. Asama Soma is there. But here comes Bishop as she did in the semi-final. The Canadian is working hard. Asama Sova, though, is holding the ball off. Asama Sova is still there. Is she going to do it? Bishop is coming through, is she? She is not. It's going to be Asama Sova. Bishop in second. Sum is third. The winning time, 158.04. Wow, what a great run there from the Belarus athlete, Asama Sova.
the oldest in the field and perhaps the most experienced, and it did pay there. She did everything right. Sum tried as hard as she could to take the pace, but there really wasn't that much in her legs over that last 150. That was a brilliant run from the Belarusian. The European champion is now the world champion. Melissa Bishop ran so well in qualification, and I just think she found herself stuck on the inside. She was looking for a gap on Ars Amazova's left, tucking in to the curb with about 50 to go. I think she was all out sprinting, but I just wonder if the Belarusian had drifted out just a fraction, whether Bishop would have found a way through on the inside. And I don't think that we could take anything away from Eunice Sum. She did her very best, but this was a really, really high quality field. There's no disgrace in getting the bronze, running 158-18. Three, three cracking athletes driving for the line, but somehow, from somewhere, the Belarusian just found enough to hold on. Well, as we said prior to the start of the race, you could literally say anybody was going to win it. And I don't think many people would have said that Samasova was going to be there at the end. But uh, it was a great run from her, it really was. Confident run. She was in the right place all the way through that race. Sum did, Sum did as much as she could. She did push hard. That third 200 metres, though, was a little bit slow. It allowed Samasova to come up onto her shoulder and pass her at the 200 metre mark. She just didn't have enough in her legs to hold her at bay at that point. It'll be interesting to see this back because it just seemed as though Bishop had so much running in her legs, but she made it difficult for herself with a couple of the tactical decisions. Brilliant silver, of course, but watch the way she tries to come through always on the inside. Well, here we see you're right, Rob. I think she had the gap there, though. Asama Sova's moving out. Bishop here had the clear run. I don't think there was much in her legs. I think she was striding out as best she could. Asama Sova really did work hard. Sum really was dying over those last few strides, just couldn't get past Bishop on the inside. Great race. There wasn't much, as I said, to choose between them. And in the end, look at that, a gap of just a metre or so between first and third in that 800 metres. 0.15 of a second separating first and third. A great, great competitive race. And the Belarusian with her country's best ever performance in the World Championship. And Melissa Bishop, there's never been a Canadian medal in this event. Well, there has now. The rather surprised Pan American champion last month is having a cracking end to her 2015 season. She's taken a huge step up in class here. Massive lifetime best in the semi and a well-deserved world championship silver medal. So Lemo was trying to come on the inside, but Sum was determined to hold the inside line. Well, just one point, we must make all of those women in that final broke two minutes, which is a fantastic performance. Just shows the quality of that race. Sum did all she could, she really did, but just didn't have it in her legs in the end. Quite a big gap after the first three, and Arafi, who Robert mentioned, was sort of way tailed off, 10 or 15 metres down, came through and finished fast, but of course, fourth place was still way behind the other two. And Oscar and Clark has made a remarkable start at 800 metre running, taking fifth place. This is what you want to see in a major championship. Three athletes, almost neck and neck, all in contention for the gold, silver and bronze. Brilliant to see a middle distance race so tight and so competitive. Well, there wasn't any change really, was there, between those three in the last 50 metres or so. Well, I think that's Belarus' second term medal in these championships. It's the first gold. I think they've won one bronze. But that's a magnificent performance from Arsama Sova. Bishop there and Sum.